Hello dear friends, good morning. Let's have a cup of coffee and uh, I would like to chat with you, blah blah blah, a little bit with you. So I will use half and half. I just feel half and half is more delicious. So here I use half and half for the frosting. And it takes around 60 seconds, something. Let me not waste too much of your time. Turn it on. At the same time, I will heat up this. There are different kinds. Each time, I always buy a, a whole set of um, of 200 capsule or something so that I, I can have this little container, little box for free. I already have too many boxes. And this is a new flavor and uh, it's much more expensive than the rest of them. The rest is around 60 cents each and this one is, uh, is two, two dollar each. It's almost the time, and this one is still turning now. It's time to. Wait, was that the video? We knew you. Okay. Yes. Okay, so it is good for the You need this exact moment. Okay. You can see the frost is quite. Uh, Quite serious frost, right? <clears throat> so <clears throat> I like foam. I like to eat this foam. So, <clears throat> and uh, so here is my question. I like to use half and half to make this frosting, to make this frost, because it's more delicious. And uh, recently we are talking about raw milk and, um, and um, <coughs> whole milk and uh, skimmed milk and uh, non-fat milk. And some friends said that uh, whole milk is the closest to to the original milk and uh, it's uh, it's good so how about if I use uh, uh, half and half because the creamer make it much richer and much more delicious and uh, <clears throat> coming back to so my number one question is that okay to use half and half of it 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 makes it more delicious so and no harm to it, so I would like to use it. If you know anything about it, uh, the health benefit or health disadvantage of uh, using half and half, please let me know, because in the coffee shop they sell something called uh, Brevi, Brevi Latte or Brevi something. So, the first question is, uh, um, exchange or share your idea or knowledge about uh, half and half. The second thing is about these raw milk things. 
I think um, <clears throat> some people uh, cannot drink uh, whole milk. I don't think anybody intentionally <clears throat> spent more much money, much more money on that. Maybe that's just a <clears throat> in, in our immune system or in our digestion system. Some people are more uh, uh, sensitive to it. And if we are if we are okay to drink pasteurized milk, we are just fortunate, we are just lucky. And, uh, and it's nothing to be proud of, or it's nothing to be ashamed of, because we, have, uh, we, have, we, 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 we drink less expensive milk. Nothing about it. People are all different. And um, we are just fortunate that we do not need to spend that much money to own more expensive milk. The normal milk can make us uh, digest, can make, can make us uh, accept, and, uh, and we, we do not need to spend that much money. And we can use the money saved from buying expensive milk to buy other things we like. It's just... Uh, a given fortunate uh, situation and uh, people who cannot drink uh, normal milk, pasteurized milk, who, people who have to drink uh, um, uh, raw milk, they just, uh, uh, they are different, everybody is different, so, mm -hmm. and they find an alternative by drinking raw milk to satisfy their, their dietary design, desire. That's just, uh, it's, it's all different. And uh, it makes me to think when I was young. When I was young, um, I have to drink coffee when it is, uh, when it is hot, when it is cold. I will not like it, so <clears throat> I finish coffee usually within a couple of minutes, and I the rest of the time in the coffee shop I'm just sitting there. And uh, another thing I want to say is about yeah, people. What am I talking about? Uh, when I was young, this is a, a, a story. When I was young, I was feeling I uh, because I was so healthy, and people are all so healthy, and uh, there was very rare to have something, somebody have disease and have uh, sickness, and uh, whenever there is a day we are sick, we were sick and we could uh, escape one day class. It was such a fortunate thing. And uh, also to hear people complain, oh, I have a headache, I had a fever. It's such a luxury for us. Can, can you, you may not be able to understand, but if you are healthy, you may be uh, able to understand. Now we are getting, we are aging, we, we do not, uh, we, we are uh, fortunate enough to get some sickness or get some illness in our system. But when we were young, we did not even have that fortunate. We did not even have that luxury, that um, uh, privilege of getting of, uh, of uh, sickness. So I, <laughs> I kind of envy people who is able to complain. I had no right to complain. I absolutely had no right to complain. I never had a headache. I never had fever. Once in two or three years, I had one time had fever, and it was a celebration almost. <laughs> because at that time, I could eat some, some special food otherwise every day, the same food. So the point of this video is, is not uh, that it's good to, to be diseased. It's just... Uh, it's um, 
when something you always have, you do not know, or you do not need to appreciate. When something is becoming rare, you start to appreciate. And uh, and uh, ra- sometimes rareness, the thing that being seldom, the seldomness or the rareness, is even bigger than the goodness of something. And uh, we just need to watch out. Well, don't make it a philosophical talk. It just uh, understand it. Anyway, the blah 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 around a cup of coffee. Enjoy. And this cup I got because every time I go to the um, to buy the capsule of uh, Nespresso, Nespresso. And they give a degustation, they give you a, a tasting. And they use such beautiful cups. And uh, one time I was drinking, I was offered one cup, and uh, I was, um, it was quite hot, so it takes some time. I want to look around the shop. I asked that, uh, that gentleman, can I take this, uh, 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 I will return this cup when I finish. And then he said, no, you don't need to finish because we recycle it. And I was quite in shock because it's such a beautiful, beautiful cup. Sometimes those big companies, they, they, they make things pretty and they become just too good to throw it away. So I kept it. I, I went there two times, so I got two cups. And I thought this one is already old and it's been used more than 10 times so I can I can throw it away without feeling bad because it's time to it's it has finished its uh, its life but otherwise it's quite pretty sometimes what do I say sometimes we just make things too pretty and uh, this world has becoming so easily to become pretty and becoming become everything becomes so handy so easy it's um, it's just uh, at the price of our nature it will be quite difficult to digest by the nature but i like to drink it and I am one of the criminals to, to pollute the environment, if you think that way. So just live your life as, as good as you can. There are things you cannot control. Let grandmother, let your grandma to worry about, worry about living a happy life, living a decent life, and the rest is beyond what you can worry about. You do not drink this cup of coffee, other people will drink. So it does not make that much change you drink or not. And um, do as good as you can and you have no regret. You made the best of yourself, the rest leave heaven, leave grandma to talk, to worry about. You have a very good day. This one, I will wash it and continue to use it. To use it the 20, 25th time, 27th time. This one is a little bit old, but still is usable. And the good thing about it is uh, you do not need to heat it. If you use a ceramic mug or cup, you, you have to heat it. But this one, you do not need to heat it. And um, I will do my art project. See you later, alligator. Bye bye, friends. Don't forget to tell me about uh, the advantage and disadvantage of a half and half. Okay, thank you. Bye bye, friends.